Paulana Hefeweiss. Life is too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Bows Reviews. I have got a fantastic Heifer Weiss or Weiss beer from Paulana. And uh, there's two different types. There's Heifer Weiss beer and there's Weiss beer. I'm assuming the two are the same. I've been trying to look on their website and it doesn't make any distinction. They both boast the same characteristics. I mean, that's... Uh, uh, natura, which means natural ingredients, and heifer vice beer, that just means wheat, white beer, and the other stuff is just called vice beer, so, and that's in a bigger bottle, I don't know whether they've used that to distinguish between the sizes of the bottles, but anyway, it's a vice beer. Um, first time I tried this was in France, would you believe, I was in a place called Lyon, we were doing a gig over there, and um, it was there... Believe it or not, they're football hooligans. I can't remember the name of them. Um, they had a name. But we'd done a gig in their, in their clubhouse. And we were staying in a hotel just down the road. They had a couple of selections of French beer like Cronenberg and shit like that. And I was thinking, oh Christ. And then just in the corner of the fridge, I spotted some, some of this stuff. And I knew Paulana. I knew, I knew their um, lagers and stuff. I didn't know they'd done a vice beer. And of course, at the time, I was... You know, I had a fucking intravenous with vice beer going in, so I got onto that. And I think I'd done all the five, it was five or six bottles, and I'd done all five waiting for um, the rest of the band to tart themselves up and get ready for the gig. And by the time I walked out of that hotel, I was seeing double. And But the gig went surprisingly well, and uh, I didn't make any mistakes, and uh, I spent the rest of the night drinking shitty French beer, and it was fucking vile. Anyway, enough about my fucking life on the road. Let's get this beer open and tasted. Okay, so this is a 500 milliliter bottle. It is 5.5% ABV. Uh, it's from the Paulana Brewery, based in Bavaria. They are a fantastic brewery. They're very, very big in Germany as well. Quite big over here. You notice a lot of the... Um, draft the Hellas that they have on draft is uh, quite popular. And it, there's a pub even down the road from me that does the town line stuff. Mind you, it's a sort of a, a craft beer pub, but um, it's that good that it's it's on draft there. And uh, yeah, they really know what they're doing. And uh, I'm not going to lie to you, I've tasted this before. It's a great vice beer, but I haven't had it in a while. So let's get it open and let's see what's going on. Right, here's the bottle open. There is the cap. Usual Paulana cap. There you go. Into the collection, on the nose, out of the bottle. Oh, that is just so good. I know, I know, I know. I know I keep going on about the milks that, that Paulana use and the Bavarian brewers use. But you can get them even in the vice beer as well. And that is lovely. Big, smoky, smoky bacon type malt, sweet malt. It's lovely. But there's a fair bit of, um, fair bit of banana clove on there. More clove than there is banana, which is unusual. It's not what I remember, mind you. Fucking, I don't remember much the last time I had some of this. Let's get into the glass. Uh, I've only got a pint glass. I haven't got a half pint um, uh, vice pig glass. I should steal one. That's where most of my glasses come from. They don't really... Well, yeah, they do, actually. I think, yeah. Gifts, and I never buy glasses. Anyway, let's get this into the glass. Now, there is a trick. You've got to keep this at an angle, otherwise you end up with a head bigger than Birkin head. And I won't be, no, don't fuck this up. Now, that's 330ml, 
and obviously it's not going to fill a pint glass, but there it is. And I think it's not a bad fist at doing. You should be looking at a three finger head in one of these glasses, and that is. It's pretty much bang on. There's going to be a little bit lost in there. There's a lot of carbonation. I'm just going to let that settle. Let the head settle. It's a lovely colour. It's a, like an, an orangey, yellowy orange colour. Um, hazy, of course, as you would expect. Fair bit of carbonation in there. I'm just going to let that rise to the top. And there is, the head is actually rising. I thought we were going to die down. This is This is the ideal. It's meant to be drunk through a head, and it's about a three finger head max, and that's what it is now. So, what's on the nose? Oh, morning malts. It's just so good. Munich Pilsner malt, I think that's what it is. It's got that slightly smoky, sweet, almost bacon type flavour to it. It tastes great, it tastes great, and it smells great as well, and it's unmistakable. You would, you would not mistake that anywhere else. It's almost like ham. If you can imagine sweet ham. That's what it reminds me of. It's mad. Right. I want to stop guessing and I'm going to start drinking. Prost, as they say in Germany. Or Prost. Oh, that is amazing. It's as good as I remember it. And I love it. I love Vice Beer. Some people aren't um, aren't too keen on it. I was watching, um, who's that geezer? What's his name? Ricky Gervais. I was watching him the other day and he was doing some saying on Twitter. And he was drinking wheat beer. And he was saying, mm, not sure about it. I'm sure I'll get to like it. I was exactly the same. And... All of a sudden, it just fucking dawned on me. I remember somebody gave me a, a bottle of Vice beer by mistake. I remember taking a couple of mouthfuls out of it, and it was the Tuca stuff from the Witherspoons years ago, this was. I didn't like it. They give it to me, mate, and he just drank it, but I didn't like it. But now, I cannot get, I cannot get enough of it. And I've gone through phases where I won't drink anything else. It's that good. But this is amazing. And again, it's got the them really good Paolana malts that they use in all their beers. And, you know, that might put some people off. You know, Paolana has has this distinctive malty flavour in all their beers. Personally, I love it. And I think the people who are brewing the stuff and tasting it, they also like it. And they've said, why change the recipe when this is a winner? And it is. And I can taste that in the Hellas. I can taste it in their Dunkel, um, their Dunkel Weiss. I can taste it in this as well. And it's it's lovely. They do a Marzen as well. or, or not, No, not a Marzen, an Oktoberfest beer. And it's in that as well. And it's just lovely. And they're, they're a great brewery. Really are good. I was going to say this. <clears throat> if you've seen my other reviews on Vice Beer. Um, I've said it a thousand times. I'm going to say it again. The two at the top of the tree are Schneider Weiss and Weinstefana. But these are just millimetres below them. I think the other two just edge it slightly, especially the Weinstefana Dunkel. I mean, that's fucking sublime. It's probably my, one of my favourite beers. Um, but this stuff is not far off. I think the flavours in this, the, the malt dominates this. I mean, there is weight in there, don't get me wrong, and you do get the lovely banana and clove out of this too. But the malt shine through on this as well. Yeah, it's so good, it's so drinkable. It just goes down. So, And it's, you know, you can drink lager and all that, and you can say, oh yeah, lager's great and all that very easy drinking but this stuff on a summer's day this stuff is you know ice cold well not ice cold but cold out of the fridge it's fucking lovely and the flavours you get out of this stuff I urge you to try a vice beer you won't like it at first 
but just persevere with it. Just remember you're drinking banana and clove flavoured beer, which is coming from the yeast. You're drinking if you you know if you're drinking the proper Bavarian stuff, you're drinking really good malt, and you're drinking a little bit of bubblegum flavour on it as well. And you'll get used to it, and you'll get to the point where you won't want to drink anything else because that's what exactly what happened to me. So if you've not tried Vice before, I urge you to try it. It's amazing stuff, and this stuff is fantastic. So what's the verdict? I really want to give it a 10 out of 10, but I'm going to give it a nine and three quarters out of 10 because, as I say, the Schneider and the Weinstefaner just edge it a little bit. But honestly, it is millimeters in the whole sort of race to the best vice beer. But this stuff is just fucking amazing. And I urge you to try it. If you can get hold of it, you, you probably have to get hold of it online or if you go to a German bar, you may get it, you know, out of the fridge there. But this is one of the, they, they are one of the best, Paulana. And they're a big brewery as well. But the Germans like their football clubs. They get things right. It's all about remaining independent. It's all about the people and not about big corporations. Uh, I could go into that about the um, the whole culture of you know German German football and German breweries as well. They don't like they don't like big companies telling them what to do. They don't, they like to be in charge, um, which is you know evident in their football teams. They're all owned by the fans. The breweries as well, you know, make a big thing about in, being independent, which I think is brilliant. But again, I'm going way off topic here. This is a nine and three quarters out of ten. Um, in reality, it's a ten out of ten. It's superb. It's absolutely superb. But I don't want to take the shine off Vice Stefana and um, Schneider Vice. But yeah, it's amazing. It's an absolute winner for me. And remember, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>